New day, new vlog, new track. Same old problems. So we are now at Andalusia, which is the sister track to Almeria. New circuit, quite up and down. Uh, second part of the Spanish testing. We did four days at Almeria. If you haven't already seen that, go back and watch that. This should be the previous vlog or a vlog before that. Put a link in now, Christy. But yeah, we're just sitting now waiting to go out for the very first stage, waiting for tire warmers to heat up. We've had a bit of a problem with electrics. Roger's given off. Uh, he's given off about a lot of things, but mostly the main thing he's given off about is the fact that when we got here yesterday, I went to the wrong hotel and tried to check in argued with the woman in Spanish for about 20 minutes and then finally found my reservation email and it wasn't even the hotel we were supposed to be in. <laughs> After, After we... I said, shall we leave our bags in the van? <laughs> Go into the hotel, make sure our rooms are reserved and they're open and we can get in. No, 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 it's all sorted. Drag your bags half a mile up the streets. Oh look, we're not even in this hotel. Clown. I'm sensing some animosity about this road. Yeah, but think of the steps you got in. I don't care, I don't need steps at my age. I'm nearly dead as it is. <laughs> so, when we eventually got back in the van, which was in a car park that we couldn't get out of, we got to the right hotel and uh, yeah, eventually got checked in and stuff. So yeah, we basically yesterday was a travel day, relaxing and we day. We actually broke into the car park. Well, well, we had to break into the car park, but these sorts of things don't need to be going on the vlog. Quite a few people in the other vlog basically said that they wanted to see some setup stuff. <laughs> I've done a little bit of stuff at the other track, but I don't know if it's really what you want. It was a little bit more electronics wise and stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna do a proper one this time. Get Roger's information, because I know nothing about that. And honestly, between me and you guys, Neil's starting to like the Honda. Neil, you enjoying the bike now? Yeah. What? <laughs> come, on, come, come over here. It's positively peaking. Come here. I'm gonna keep getting little snaps of him looking at the bike with a lot of love in his eyes. So, yeah, basically in this vlog, we're gonna do some stuff about what happens when you get to a new track, setup wise, both suspension and electronics, and still trying to learn a new bike. So, stay tuned for that. I'll be like kicking the limiter and stuff there and it's like too ready, you know what I mean? Um, let me just do another run, you know, like look, and get properly up to speed. Four, second, third, carrying third to there, but ideally you could probably go to fourth. Uh, third, second, third, second, second, but ideally you probably want third coming out the road over the hill. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm going up to third there. Second to get the stop, and then because you jump over a jumping in, you're not really breaking that hard. So then third, uh, fourth, third, second, 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 sixth, second. Do you think this would be better here if you got? I'm going to go to it's not like go fourth back to it, but ideally you'd probably want to go fourth back to third. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, and maybe I'm just being a little bit lazy. I think that's what you think. There's a little bit of chatter coming in, into two or three of the corners, but I can't feel the difference in the engine braking. I don't know whether. What, well, even when you go to three? Yeah. I know. So I don't know what the, the parameters are. Do you know, like on the 600, I can feel like a change straight away. No, I doesn't. Right, so we've obviously been out now. Done. How many laps have we done, Roger? Hey. Both runs. Yeah, we've probably done 12 laps. Um, so yeah, we're still learning the track and getting used to what's happening. Nine. Nine. Come in now. <coughs> Normally we're not too hasty at me. Suspension changes, but a few little things. We're just trying to figure out what the engine braking is like here compared to the other track. So yeah, we're just overlaying. We had three different modes in the bike that time. One with each a different amount of other two stroke we we call it as two stroke and four stroke so obviously the more two stroke you put in it means more free into the corner and more four stroke is more the bike will back in other people say different what is it what's other terms that people use for like engine brake and rods people just call engine brake so they say you want more or less engine brake yeah and then it's it's knowing which way around that's why yeah. i use two stroke and four stroke yeah obviously. 
Yeah, it's all standard. Low stroke, it backs in. Yeah. Low two stroke, you can't stop. Yeah. So, if you use a different word, everybody's chuck it in own. the comments. Yeah, everybody's got their own thing. Because that's what we're working on now. We won't touch, there's two or three corners where I'm getting a little bit of front tear and chatter, and sometimes that's caused by engine brake or the, or the grip off the rear tyre. So we're trying to determine now whether it's coming from the front of the bike or the back of the bike. We're not making any changes to the suspension as yet. First of all, we're just going to have a go with this engine brake and stuff and, and figure it out just to see what I can feel different from the other track and then what will change and makes the difference here right now. So biggest thing with all this and you see people on track this so much is rushing into like changing a load of things. You literally change one thing at a time, be certain which direction you go when you change that thing and then go with it. And the other the other thing people keep asking Rog is like suspension set up for tire wear, but it's so determined on the track, the grip level, the temperature. Yeah, temperature. Do you know what I mean? People think that it's always a suspension problem, but it's what it's tire not. You use. Yeah, what tire you use, the pressure of the tire. There's so many factors that you can't really unless you're going on the same day, on the same compound, on everything, then you know it's like a suspension thing. So sorry to you guys that think there's a magic potion for for uh, doing a suspension thing there's not but the big thing I will say is do one thing at a time make sure that one change is what the way you need to go or want to go and then go from there hence why I've got Roger and I'm not making any decisions that's right and this is what he's looking at Damn, the battery's about to go flat. Hurrah! We've, we've, Hurrah! we've done another run. I'm going to speak quickly now because the battery's about to now. We've done another run there now. Didn't want to change any suspension stuff. We just wanted to work a little bit more on Andy Whaley. We've got that sus now. And Roger's just confirmed the data. The rear's a little bit soft. The front's a little bit hard because when I get to the apex, I tend to tuck the front as soon as I let the brake off. So it sits up. There's not enough weight on the front tyre. And it's wheeling a little bit too much because it's sat on its ass. So we're going to change the balance the today. A little bit softer on the front. A little bit firmer on the rear. Just uh, with some preload and stuff like that. Not uh, spring rates or anything yet. Uh, to see if that's definitely the right direction. If it is, and then we need to go springs, then we'll go springs. That's what's happening. Sorry about this if it's like a little bit bitty, but I'm obviously trying to do my job here as well as fucking vlog. So I just had a discussion with Roger now, and because we've took a decent step in lap time, the front is too deep. So he's going to put more preload on the front, just with preload, not with a spring yet. But looking at some other things, with he, not we, he thinks that the geometry of the bike is still not in the right spot. So even though we're making the front a little bit harder, we're actually going to raise the rear of the bike a little bit as well just to help with some turning issues and stuff that we're having and making the bike get want to naturally go into the corner uh, rather than me forcing it and which makes me give which gives me the feeling of the front's pushing. That's the right explanation isn't it Roger? We're gonna raise the rear to make the bike naturally yeah. want to turn in. Yeah. Yeah. Just have to make sure I'm not waffling shit. The leather be awesome it? or it'll be rubbish. What's the chances? That's 50-50 isn't it, we want to go, wouldn't it? I bet people that watch this think these like big teams have got so much, so many, well, probably other big teams of smart people. They don't make the mistake of thinking that they know what we're doing, do they? I've got Roger. <laughs> Anyone out there feel sorry for me? Just put it in the comments below. <laughs> going back on the front. Again. Yeah, just don't tell me where, so I tell you first, you know. So why I'm uh, done that session, come back in. This is just like a circuit map. See a layout of the track, basically. What you start off by writing your gear and all them things. So 
you know what gear you're in, you know what you want to change. It's all on the data, but this is more for me. So I'll come in now, I'll write down what I want to change, what I think the bike's feeling like. Roger never ever speaks to me first and says, oh, it's too deep, it's not deep enough, anything like that there. So it doesn't put anything in my head. And then that's always the situation. So I'm going to write down now what improvements that has done by what we did with the suspension. And we obviously put new tyres in. So sometimes that creates problems as well. Because the more grip you have, obviously, the more force you create on the suspension. So I'm going to write these bits down now, and then I'll speak to him. And uh, he'll be as then. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that the telemetry is for a battle and for like mapping and things like that. At no point should he be telling me what I'm feeling, if that makes sense. Do some scribbling, then have a chat with him, and then we'll see what the plan is uh, going out in the next one. But I'll record that so you can see. You ready? Sure. first I had to let the battery charge. I did the session that we were just talking about, went back out, we took some preload off the front. How much? No, a mil and a half. <laughs> took a mil and a half of preload off the front. No, a mil and a half on the, off the rear, sorry. Yeah, two, two off the front. Two off the front. And one and a half on the rear. And one and a half on the rear. <laughs> Come in, obviously, like I said, did the run, bike felt better to me, come back in, Roger looked at the averages, which is... Oh. Oh, I can see this. So basically, yeah, the way the run and the lap, the averages before, the front was a little bit hard and the rear was a little bit soft. I come in, give him the feedback of what I think it feels like and it was better. Then he obviously looks at the average and stuff again and then goes, yeah, that we went the right way. So we're about to go back out now, put a new tyre in, new set of tyres, new, new front boots, and rear, yeah, yeah. new boots in, front and rear, and then we're going to go see how that feels because obviously we, you only ever really want to make changes for like for like. So the tyre was a little bit fucked on the last run, but it was what we finished with, so we wanted to go back we're out. Still on the tire, and we're, we're still on a harder, harder compound tyre, so we're going to go like for like now with a new tyre run this for a few more laps probably do another 10 15 laps on this and then we're going to go to the softer tire because the temperature's going up a little bit so uh hope all this makes sense because it doesn't to me no me <laughs> we're ready neil i'll tell you what you create a big shadow there neil <laughs> So, turns out Roger's not full of shit after all. It's not what you normally do. <laughs> so, we made that change to the bike. I'm back in now, I've just got changed out of my leathers. A little bit of discussion. So, we made that change to the bike. We raised the rear. We put uh, how much more preload on the front? So, earlier we originally put two on and then we put another two on. Yeah, we put two on, then we put one on. So yeah, going into the last session, we raised the rear by 1.5 mil. Yeah. Raised the rear by 1.5 mil and put uh, another mil of preload on the front. The bike felt better. We went as quick as we did earlier on a fresh tyre. So the feeling is better. But the discussion we've had now is that the feeling I want from the bike is going to need a spring. So we're going to go 0.5 more on the spring rate. If you could black one, I you didn't bring them with I you. I forgot my spring. Uh, we're going to go 0.5 more on the spring rate, but we're going to take the preload back off. Two, two mil back off. Yeah. Take two mil back off. Just that's a personal feeling to me, because I don't like the feeling of having a load of preload on, because it gives me... The only explanation I can say, I can feel too much of the tarmac, like a, a roughness, and I don't like that feeling through the handlebars. So 
we're going to take the preload back off and put a slightly harder spring in and that's the plan of attack we're finished for today now that's the plan of attack tomorrow we're going to keep the same tires in get the tires in the blankets which is another little thing if you don't do that let them cool down slowly so it gives the tire a better lifespan so tomorrow morning we're going to go back out the first session once it gets warm enough so it's the same go with these tires try like for like with the fork spring and the preload and then when we're happy with that then we're going to go with a softer compound tire because if the front's not right all that will end up doing is push the front more with more grip and that's the plan so yeah i'll see you guys in the morning Go and explain to everybody what's happening, Rog. Yes, we've got this year's calendar with every single available option that we've got as to where we might want to go and race our motorbikes. But what we haven't got is any plan whatsoever where we might or might not be going. Should we ask the so people? Should, so should we do a little like bit of work on this about where should, we think we might should, want to go and ride round? Should we ask the people of the vlog? Or should we just keep everybody guessing? So where would everybody like before? to see Roger most and when? <laughs> well, Neil, where do you want to go race? Come on, Neil, we've got the calendar here. We're finally going to sort out what we're doing. Let's go, bro. Um, yeah, what's we can it? go down to the front and get chips and ice cream, can't we, Neil? So I've been... And we had a go on the fairground, didn't we? We went to school last time. I've been explaining to people about the weather and, like, being fit to test, like, for, like, of what it was yesterday. Well, the real men are out there riding around now, aren't they? Riding around. Right. Guinness has put a proper shift in because he's the consummate professional. What, is com what does consummate mean? I don't know, but it sounded good to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that it was going to get, like, a... I don't even know why. I was expecting to get a genuine answer, but, yeah. It's too fucking windy to try what we're going to try. And we're going to go out for a spin. We're going to go out for a spin round, and that's about it. Yo, so, it is now the next day right so it's now the next day and um, the weather's not so good it's still I'll show you it's still nice and clear well it looks like sunny and stuff it's just really really windy so honestly we can't do a like for like test on the things we were doing yesterday because it's really gusty and stuff and it just ends up giving you problems of what you think my bike might be deep or running in deep and stuff so it's not a genuine test and honestly you can end up with uh, getting no information or bad information is worse than having no information so i've had to sort of scrap what we were we were going to try from yesterday i'm just going to go out and try a few more other things that we can we can actually try outside of that so today is it's not going to be a waste of a day but because they're new bikes and stuff and just getting fully comfortable on the super bike and stuff like that going to use it as that so possibly tomorrow then we'll get a chance to just finish off what we're doing in the stalker i don't know if anybody's learned anything in this video and it's quite hard because everything is so specific to each bike and i get comments all the time about tire wear and things like that and track unless you're honestly there on the day it's hard to say i don't know if anybody's learned anything but I tried. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I don't even know what the next vlog is going to be about because we're going to be getting back to England. Then BSB testing is going to start, but we've got some other bits in the workshop. Hopefully, the Aprilia stuff is going to be starting when we get back as well. So, yeah, stay tuned for that.